Pleasure as always. <laughs> Pleasure as always, mate. Yes, indeed. Um, so, second year, Terracotta Film Festival. How's it gone this year in comparison to last year? You happy? Yeah, definitely. It's grown a lot bigger, reaching a bigger audience. Um, because of the success of the first year, Yeah. Um, in sourcing films, I think people are able to give us a bit more confidence mm -hmm. in what we can do and that we can reach their audiences. So they've given us and uh, trusting us with the big films like yeah. The Accidents, Bodyguards, Assassins, yeah. Little Big Soldiers. Yeah. yeah. So, and that's, that, I mean, that seems a, a, a quite a difference from last year, the, the programme of films that you've got. I mean, you've got some really the massive films from Asia this year, Bodyguards and Assassins, the Johnny Toad films. Mm -hmm. Was that a conscious decision? Is that a, a, a kind of... Uh, um, move that you want to take the festival not, into? Not really, no, no. Okay. I mean, a lot of people said it's gone really commercial this year as opposed to sort of uncovering gems from last year. Okay. I think it's more indicative of what we've seen and had time to see. Okay. So we called for submissions and we went to different film festivals, yeah. whereas last year we got a lot more screeners in from, um, from smaller companies and smaller production houses. So I think it's just in picking what we've seen in the 15 best films, this was our shortlist. Okay. Yeah. So it's no deliberate move to make it more commercial. Okay. Um, so in relation to, I mean, obviously we've we've got Jackie Chan, we've got Jackie uh, Award for Jackie Chan, we've got Teddy Chen coming over, but there is a nice balance as well, particularly with the documentaries sure. yesterday and the Q and A's. Yeah. Uh, um, so the actual Q and A's that you've done so far, are you happy with how they've gone? Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I get really yeah. nervous when I'm on stage. Right. Okay, but yeah. Otherwise, I think the feedback from the crowd is that they really enjoyed the Q and A's and topics were to, to their liking and I think that's the whole point if you want to come and watch a film and spend an afternoon in the cinema and then sit afterwards through a talk by the producer or the director or you know the, the, the soundtrack composer then it's got to be appealing to you and I think everyone thought it was quite enjoyable yeah, definitely um, in relation to the to go back to the program itself there's, there's quite heavily kind of uh, leaning towards Hong Kong cinema this year um, there's only uh, one Korean film. Yeah. Um, again, is that just a case of the films that were that you, you, you? Yeah, no, to? it was quite funny. Well, we went to Busan Film Festival. That really kicked up our programming in October last year. Mm -hmm. We went there and we ended up programming eight Korean films in our festival. Right. Okay. So we thought, no, that's too many yeah. behind the Korean films. We started whittling it down and adding others. And then looking at the schedule like a couple of weeks before we were about to announce it, we thought, oh my God, have we got any Korean films at all now? <laughs> yeah. So we quickly like, pulled everything together. And then because we left it so late, you know, other films were promised to other festivals. You've got to remember that Europe has now got a lot of Asian film festivals. And what we want to do is show our own unique blend of programming. So it, it was a matter of timing and a, and a matter of maybe programming to manage on our part as well. I mean, um, one thing that strikes me this year is the, and I know we had a brief chat about it, about meat grinder a while ago, right. um, but the kind of Thai films that you've got, what, what are you thoughts on kind of you know, Thai films? That it seems that there's a real emergence of, of the Thai horror at the moment. What are you thoughts on something like meat grinder? Someone said to me, if Wong Kar Wai made a, I think it was yeah. you actually, yeah. Wong, Kar made a, <laughs> Wong Kar Wai made a horror. Yeah, don't <laughs> steal that one. <laughs> put it on the DVD. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, that that and also Fovia as well, you've got yeah. four main directors. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of like moving away from the slapstick local humour Thai comedies that you get yeah. and moving more into sort of filmmaking with Western sensibilities, but still keeping that very, very inherent Thai culture. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, and then uh, moving on to something like, cause, you know, you, uh, you've got your bodyguards as that accident, the, these kind of high profile action films from Hong Kong, but then you've got something like uh, um, Cow, no, no, yeah. we, again, that's, yeah. and that's just so by you, thank you. That's, well, <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, I think it's an absolutely wonderful yeah, it film, is. Yeah. and, and it, it has been very much ignored, I haven't seen yeah. it really, really, really play a lot. Um, so when you're picking them, Joey, is it a matter of... You like that film, so you think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, put yeah. this in the festival. Yeah, or? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. I mean, for me, I'm not much of a film buff. A lot of people who are programmers are proper film critics. Film, uh, you know, they talk about mise en scène, which is like a really yeah. foreign term. For me. <laughs> yeah. I just watch. I'm, I'm into Hollywood films personally. Yeah. Okay, yeah. like Back to the Futures, yeah. the American Pies. Yeah. So if I can watch a film like Cow and enjoy it, I reckon the average Brit would like it as well. And that's the end of the festival. Yeah, definitely. Um, the Johnny, I know you, you. Uh, uh, not long come back from Hong Kong, yeah. and you met Johnny Cho. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. Um, what are your thoughts in general on, on, on 
you know, the Johnny Toad film, Battle of Vengeance screen yesterday, yeah, yeah, yeah. packed as well. Sure, yeah, yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on the kind of Hong Kong cinema, you know, we're very heavily uh, represented at the festival, what are your thoughts on Hong Kong cinema at the moment? Because I'm, I ask you that because I, I, I know that um, you, you're releasing, There's, you haven't released any Hong Kong films. No, yeah. is it is it something you're looking at? Yeah, definitely. Move towards, definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah. What film Sparrow, which is Johnny Toe, um, um, won the audience swimming was last year. We're thinking of releasing that as well, but I think it's the economics. I mean, it's one thing about having a good film, and there's another thing about not trying to lose too much money. Yeah, you've got to balance it too. So the economics aren't quite right for Sparrow at the moment. What? Just, could you elaborate on yeah, that? Yeah, sure. Show? What does that mean? So, um, when you pick up a film for distributing in the UK, you need to pay a certain upfront fee. Yeah. Then you've got to spend money on your marketing to make people aware that there is a film, then make them aware it's out. Yeah. Then you've got to do all your authoring and certification, costs a lot of money as well, whether it's 15, 18, that sort of mm -hmm. stuff. So, all that and a PR fee, all that cost, mm -hmm. I think, will totally outweigh the number of units that we could possibly sell still, mm -hmm. which is a bit of a shame at the moment. Yeah. But hopefully, with more digital distribution, like your iTunes, like your video on demand on Virgin Media, yeah. Skype, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. I'm hoping that that can bring in more revenue streams right. and that can make it more viable for distributors to push these smaller films. Yeah. Does it have a big impact? Um, I mean, uh, films like Bodyguards and Assassin Acts and the Hong Kong films, that you can, they're so easily available now through Yes Asian and yeah. English subtitles. Yeah, yeah. Does that kind of, uh, do you, do you put that into the equation when you're, you're trying to purchase yeah, the rights No, films. definitely. You've got a finite market in the UK yeah. and then people will import, the hardcore fans will import, but it's still the majority of people won't import. They'll just wait and buy it in Pulse and HMV or something. Yeah. Equally, don't forget, people can go on Amazon and buy the UK version if they don't live in the UK as well. Yeah. So it yeah. kind of work, work, works both ways. The yeah. So the future for Terracotta for the festival, where, I mean, it looks like it's been a, a huge success. Where would you like to see it? moving to and expand to, I'm sure, you know, you I, I just like to, do, I like to keep doing more of the same, as long as I've got your support as well, Spencer, and the rest of the commentary crew. I would like to keep doing more of the same um, and just keep programming the same films, so the same number of films, not yeah. make it too big a festival and that okay. I want to keep it as a personal feel to the festival as possible. Okay. Um, and try and distribute more quality films and just evangelise about Asian cinema to the UK public. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, to, to go back to one of the one one of the the areas where we first kind of uh, um, uh, made the connection with Breathless, which I, which which you very kindly allowed us to screen, and it was a huge well, huge success. success. No, the, the, I know the students really enjoyed that film. Um, I mean, that's got some fantastic reviews as it was film of the yeah. month, sight and sound. Yeah. Film um, of the year. Film of the year. Yeah, yeah. Tony Raines. When oh, he Tony, Ryan, he loved it, didn't he? He loved it, yeah. Has that been, um, I'm not asking you to kind of, you know, reveal how, yeah. how, the, the finals of it, has that been a success? Is, does that kind of critical acclaim that it got translate into sales? Not really. I mean, yeah. it's put us on the map yeah. in terms of filmmakers, in terms of sales agents, in yeah. terms of um, people like yourselves who yeah. really love films. Yeah. But in terms of money, really, I don't think we're going to break even anytime soon. Right, okay. Yeah. Uh, and that seems a real shame, doesn't it? Yeah. Because, I mean, that's such a... Uh, I mean, it's, it's such a strong film. Yeah. You've got the likes of Bodyguards and Assassins, which will obviously sell, I presume, when they... Um, finally release much better than something like Breathless. Yeah. Is that is that difficult to kind of market then? Do you market to, I suppose we could call them, maybe not around, but fanboys, yeah, sure. you know, like myself, yeah. um, or, or um, you know, I suppose what you'd call the more art house crowd. Is yeah. it difficult to find that identity for the label itself? Um, I don't think so. I think what we're trying to do is just release a mixture of films, because we did release something like Fox Family Has and Gretel, very mainstream. I think the approach for a distributor should be make it a portfolio. You'd be lucky if you're a city fund manager or something, you're going to pick some bad stuff and some good stuff and just hope overall your basket is good. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you had to, would you, would you, with Terracotta, would you release a film like Bodyguards and Assassins? Oh yeah, definitely, I'd love to. Yeah. If we had the capacity to handle the marketing, <laughs> yeah. you know, if we had more staff, you know, maybe some interns would probably like to Yeah, that's it, yeah. Be all right. They're all, their, their eyes are all lighting <laughs> up now. Yes, well, we could help, yeah. Um, I think it's getting a bit fun, so we'll wrap it up now. Oh, right. I, 
what I would like to say, Joe, is thank you so much for all, all of your support this year with the Film Society. You know, we haven't been, as you know, running that long, and um, you know, yourself uh, being a big supporter. So I'd like to sincerely pass on from. I think the feeling's mutual. I mean, we need people like you to help us to, to get the word out on Asian movies, not just our films, so that people cross over from you know the other side to come watch Asian films. So. Cheers, Spencer. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you, Coventry.